Given my background in software development, technical aspects of game development click relatively easily with me, or I can grasp the high level concepts. Generally speaking, of course, there's a lot for me to learn. Because of this background, I tend to level up my game design skills more than anything else. And this has led me to reading a ton of books and yet many more to go. But at this moment, The Art of Game Design is by far my favorite. Written by game designer, professor, and CEO of Shell Games, Jesse Shell himself. Right from the start, Shell uses clear and simple definitions to convey his ideas on game design, which is the act of deciding what a game should be. That's it, super simple. By deciding what goes in a game, you are in turn designing that game. And with this definition in particular, he's setting the baseline for the rest of the book. I love it. And with these definitions and vocabulary, we as game designers can push the medium even further. And that's where the concept of a lens comes in. You can think of a lens consisting of bite-sized questions and ideas to keep top of mind when designing your game. And the book contains over a hundred of them covering topics as rules, game mechanics, story, production, etc. But that's just scratching the surface. Every lens is backed by scientific studies, external sources, even Shell's own experience among other game designers. This goes really deep, especially if there's a lens that resonates with you, you have a ton more to read. As mentioned, there's way too many lenses in this book to cover in this short video, but at least let me share my top three just to give you an idea of what, what there is in this whole book. First up, the lens of problem solving. Problem solving, personally speaking, is a huge portion of for me when playing games. It's something I really enjoy, I dig into, trying to figure out, get the juices going in the brain. So this lens really resonates with me. This lens asks, what interesting problem is the player tasked to solve? How do new problems keep the player engaged? With this perspective, you're constantly thinking of the player's mindset. Next up, the lens of the toy. This is essentially a sandbox mode. It's a perspective to find the fun without the rules or mechanics of a traditional game. Essentially at this point, you're playing make-believe with a toy. It gets you asking, is the game fun? Is the game fun to play? Or is the game fun to play with? This lens is so powerful. These days, it's a genre in itself, right? From Minecraft, Gary's Mod, etc. And finally, the lens of emergence and action. Emergence here means gameplay mechanics that emerge from the rules and actions predefined in the game. Basically a combination of objects and verbs that the game provides, which allow players to come up with new ways to play the game without the designer explicitly intending for that to happen. This leads to Battlefield's famous example of a rocket launcher jet. It's exhilarating when moments like this happen. All of the actions in a game are what allow the emergent gameplay to come through. So we think, what are the basic actions of a game? What are the strategic actions? From this, ideally, magic happens. So those are my top three favorite lenses in this book. And there are many, many more that I've added to my game design duo belt. No way to cover them all, but hopefully I conveyed their idea, their perspectives, and the general flow of the book and all the various tools that it provides when designing a game. A hard recommend for whatever it's worth. I should call out the book isn't restricted to video games, even though it does favor them. The ideas and the teachings all throughout the book can be applied regardless of the medium. And that's about it. Thanks again for waiting to the end. Hopefully you found this video useful. And if, if or when you ever read this book, let me know, how did it go? Did you enjoy it? Do you agree? What's your favorite lens? Let me know down below. All right, thanks again. Take care, later.